Hey everybody, this is Tony Mormito with Insight Partners. And in this quick video, we're gonna look at how a digital compressor works. A lot of people hear these in the field and they're not really sure what's going on inside. So I took this recording of a job we did here locally and I'm gonna kind of play the recording in a minute with the sound and walk through what is happening internally to the compressor. So if we go to the next slide, we can see Let's look at inside as to what's going on in a digital compressor. So on the right hand side here, you'll see a picture of a scroll compressor. This happens to be a digital. You got your power input here, your suction line here, gas comes in, goes through the compressor, gets compressed and discharges out the hot gas line to the condenser where it turns into a liquid if everything's working right. So if you were to peel away this can here and look inside, you would see the internal workings of the compressor. And what happens is the gas comes in and gets compressed into decreasingly smaller volumes and then shoots out the top here as a high pressure, high temperature gas. And you can see this top scroll goes up and then down and then up and then down. When the top scroll is up, we are not doing any work on the gas. We're not compressing. When the top scroll is down, we are compressing the gas. So, so the way we control the capacity with this compressor is by engaging and disengaging the top scroll. And I'll show you a little bit how that works from a control strategy, and then we'll go back and look at the video, and I'll let you hear kind of what's going on. So we use what's called a pulse width modulation method, and we break up the loading in the 15 second blocks, basically. So over 15 seconds, if we need 50% capacity, which is represented here, we would engage the scrolls for seven and a half seconds and disengage them for seven and a half seconds. Okay, so let's say we need 80% of the capacity of the compressor. We engage the scrolls for 12 seconds and we disengage them for three seconds. And we do this in 15, second intervals and on and on and on. That's basically how it works. It's very simple, very clean, very precise and very efficient. So I'll play this video with sound. So what you're seeing here is the compressor on the left is a digital compressor. The compressor on the right is an on off compressor. So this is a very common arrangement when you're doing temperature and humidity control. And we could talk further about that if you need help with an application. But so this is your digital. I'm gonna let you hear the sound change here in just a second. Right there. So what's happening here is you're hearing a click, which is this solenoid valve. And you're hearing the compressor actually engaging and disengaging the scrolls. And here's what's going on. So you have a suction, suction line here. The gas comes in, gets compressed, and goes out your discharge line here. So this extra piece here is unique to a digital compressor. So you have a solenoid valve here. When the solenoid valve opens, which is what you're hearing with that click, it creates a low pressure here. And it actually allows the pressure to release here in the top plate to move up using the suction low pressure, okay? And then what you're hearing with the sound again is the scrolls coming together, engaging and disengaging. I'll play this one more time here. And I'll, I'll say to, oops, let me go back to that. I'll say too that this compressor is almost fully loaded. You could tell because the sound change is very brief. So it's right there, it's not compressing. Now it's compressing. And if you were to time this, you would see that it's compressing almost for the full 15 seconds. So it just disengaged there. So that's basically how it works. It's very simple, um, very efficient. We'll look at that on this chart here. So this chart is full low capacity on the horizontal and full load power on the vertical line here. So 
if you have 50% of your capacity, if you're on a part load day, you only need 50% and you have a standard on off compressor with hot gas bypass, you can see you're using almost the entire amount of energy for that compressor. Hot gas bypass is a great freeze protection strategy, but does nothing for energy savings or, or uh, you know, tight temperature control or anything like that. So 50% capacity with the digital compressor, we're using about 60% of the power. So extremely efficient compared to a standard on off and very precise temperature and humidity control, which is what we do here at Insight Partners. So if you need help with an application, you can click on the link below. You can contact me or you can go to our website, find the rep in your local area. And we thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let us know.